Welcome to Straight to the Point, and today we're exposing fake games for the Game Boy Part a million. So I'm just manoeuvring onto his head and escaping the area. Oh, and he's down! And I can't keep up with the charade any longer. Enough of me taking the mickey out of those mobile adverts. You may have played Sonic 1, 2, 3, 4, and Mania, which is considered the fifth, but hold on to your hats as I present to you. Sonic 6. Oh, and just to demiss the air, this is a real game, because I have the physical cartridge here. It's not certified in any way, shape or form, but it's real. So, I loaded it into my Game Boy Color, and firstly, it wouldn't pass the BIOS screen. But after applying Deoxyl Gold and a gentle clean, we got the ball rolling. Sonic 6, not to be confused with the official Sonic 06, is a bootleg title sold in the late 90s. Illegally, of course, because it happens to be a ROM hack of Speedy Gonzales by Sunsoft, which I also have here. And honestly, this game isn't bad? I mean, it's bad, but not as atrocious as these three nightmare bootlegs I reviewed before. Unlike those, I find this one more tolerable. It still features pixel-perfect jumps, unexpected traps, and Sonic being allergic to practically everything. Yet, I was able to complete this game. Nevertheless, I must ask, why do these knockoffs insist on putting the hardest level right at the start? It's so deflating that I was almost tempted to scrap this video. Death pits galore to avoid. Hyperactive enemies that poison you if you so much caress them. Leaps of faith that is anyone's guess if you even timed it right. Conveyor belts dragging you in the wrong direction. All in the initial zone with three acts of this. Outstaying its welcome, I couldn't imagine Imagine what was in store for me next. Turns out it's less of the same thing. Stage 2 introduces some speed into the adventure and some puzzle elements where the checkpoints double purposes themselves as switches. You have to find them to turn certain fans off or open paths, etc. It still has its share of BS moments and uh, look Sonic, I know you're scared of water, but come on man, it's just a big, big drip. drip. And frankly, the rest of the game pretty much follows suit. Mexico Zone immediately leads you into cremation collectibles guiding you to your demise, and platforms outright trolling you, with future levels being a similar story. There are no extra lies to collect, although you do have unlimited continues, so you can rant and rage to your heart's content. To be fair, all my complaints are in the original game, so that can sort off too. So, what are the differences? The bootleg makes the hedgehog the protagonist, duh, splash screens have been changed which are hideously enlarged and stolen, um... That, that's about it. I'm not kidding, none of the enemies are recognisable, the blue blur skills such as the spin dash or even the spin attack are absent, and for some reason, Sonic is collecting cookies instead of rings. Actually, yeah, I can get behind that. Mm. 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 <laughs> Right, with Speedy Gonzales being a genuine Game Boy game, you would think Sonic 6 would work on real hardware. And the answer to that is... messy. By the time you make it to the fifth zone, the mappings to the terrain become corrupted. You can try and play the game, but I didn't get far and it ultimately crashed when I fell. According to this site, this only happens on a technology with colour. However, in my testing, this occurred on all Game Boy systems, no matter which cart was used. But have no fear, just power down the portable, switch it back on and input the password for the stage. And voila, vision is restored. It's not like your score means anything when you complete the game anyway. I noticed if you let the title screen run so it previews Ice Zone, then when you start a new game, it'll glitch out again. So don't let demo mode make an appearance. Does Sonic 6 work on real hardware? Despite a minor hiccup, yes. I could go on and on about this game, but if you want to know more about that and see my frustration in real time, then I'll be streaming this on my secondary channel in a couple of days. And that's straight to the point. 